So it looks like we could have a brand new Assassin's Creed Red leak, this time in the form of an image. How legit is this? Is it real? Is it fake? We're gonna get into all of that and I'll start by saying this. It's definitely insanely compelling. There's also a lot more new AC Red info to talk about when it comes to when we might see the game re-revealed and it looks like it's gonna be very soon. There's actually a decent amount to get into today, so without further ado, if you're new to me and my channel, The Exile, and you want to stay up to date with everything Assassin's Creed Red and beyond, then you can press the subscribe button to stay in the loop, as well as a thumbs up on this video really makes these videos possible. Okay, let's go. So the Xbox Summer Showcase of 2024 is coming on June 9th. It's basically Xbox's equivalent of a replacement for E3. Now, speculation suggests that it's quite likely we may see an AC Red reveal there. Ubisoft Forward is coming June 10th, so one day later. Now, of course, we're going to see Assassin's Creed Red, hopefully in a gameplay presentation of some sort, at Ubisoft Forward on June 10th. But the reason a lot of people are speculating that we'll see something on the Xbox Showcase is because something very similar happened with Assassin's Creed Mirage on the PlayStation Showcase. During the PlayStation Showcase, we basically got shadow dropped our first glimpse at AC Mirage gameplay. We knew we'd see Mirage at the Ubisoft Forward Showcase, but this was completely out of nowhere. It wasn't announced. And as you can see in my reaction, it was a completely unexpected moment. That's like 99% not gonna happen, I'm pretty sure. No, no, no! Ah! Now with the Xbox Showcase being a day before the Ubisoft Showcase, what better opportunity for Ubisoft to say, okay, why don't we show a quick gameplay snippets type trailer, or maybe even a CGI trailer, in the Xbox Showcase, build up that hype for the Ubisoft Showcase the next day, then when the Ubisoft Showcase comes around, drop that 5-10 to 10 minute gameplay presentation, really diving into AC Red and its new mechanics, such as overhaul parkour and combat and graphics, etc, etc. Ubisoft are a company that tends to stick to what they are good at, what they understand, what they know, and is no different when it comes to their marketing strategies. All you have to do is look at their prior games and the patterns they have of reveal to release, to promo, to hype, da 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 da. So yeah, it looks likely that we'll probably see something at the Xbox Showcase, and again, then we'll see the actual gameplay, or at least more of it, in Ubisoft's official forward showcase of June. Now, in other Assassin's Creed Red news, and this definitely leans into our prior topic, the official Assassin's Creed website has been updated with a slightly new visual art style. It's nothing completely and drastically different, and there isn't a ton of like AC Red branding or anything like that, but there's a few more red colors. It looks just that bit more polished than what it did before, and definitely different. Again, this could mean nothing, but at the same time, when it comes to art style, art direction, visual choices, 99% of the time, nothing is by accident. And again, with leaks as well as speculation on when we're going to see the game and all of that being very soon, on top of the visual colours being red, it just seems like they're gearing up to, again, reveal Assassin's Creed Red in its full form. In its final form. Here's a quick personal anecdote to lend into this theory. YouTube for me is a part-time job, you know, I'm employed full-time for a company. Now, it's a lot of social media stuff and video stuff, but a lot of what I do is also working on a website, updating it visually, making the aesthetics look as good as they can. For me personally, if I know something's about to come out soon regarding our company's products, I'm gonna get that website ready. And if I know there's something that we really want to focus on as a product and, and you know drive that thing home then i'm definitely going to update the visuals of the website to match that aesthetic so from my perspective looking onto the perspective of another company i can see they'd probably do quite a similar thing and again it looks to me that is exactly what ubisoft are doing they're saying to their website developers okay update the aesthetics of the website because soon we're going to drop this massive bombshell of a new assassin's creed game and we want to make sure it coincides with the aesthetics of the website it, it just it just makes sense so yeah get yourselves ready mark it in the calendars because it's it's coming soon okay this is the ac red info you've been waiting for so a man by the name of pierre miyazaga or miyazga I, I don't know i'm i apologize a studio marketing and communication director director for Ubisoft Bordeaux recently updated his profile picture on LinkedIn yeah and, and you know it's him looking very suave fancy beautiful but in the background we have an Assassin's Creed poster that kind of looks a lot like the red sun in the Assassin's Creed red branding 
Along with that, we have the number or maybe year 1499. Now the year 1499 does indeed coincide with the feudal Japan era in real world history. And if you didn't know, that's pretty much been confirmed by Ubisoft to be the era and the setting of Assassin's Creed Red, Feudal Japan. Now I was made aware of this by friend of the show, Assassin's Creed News. They're over on Twitter and it does what it says on the tin, they cover Assassin's Creed News. I'll leave the link to their account in the description. Now a few of us in the Assassin's Creed community actually had a bit of a discussion in the comments on what we think this could be. The hidden one mentions that the ending of AC2 ended in 1499, make of that what you will. And I left a comment saying, I don't see what Pierre would have to do with AC Red if he works for Bordeaux, but perhaps this could be a screenshot from the upcoming UB Forward. To my knowledge, it's pre-recorded, so it could have already been filmed. And then I got a reply from Jaw Raptor of all people saying, some people at Bordeaux are helping with Red as well, which I didn't know, so I gave him a little like on his comment. So as I said at the beginning of this video, this is very compelling. Where could this be from? It definitely looks like AC Red branding, that's for sure. And to my knowledge, this isn't a screenshot from any sort of video we've seen. So yeah, it could be some sort of leak for Assassin's Creed Red, but you should always take every single bit of info leaks if it's not official with a huge or a tiny, I don't know, grain of salt. At the end of the day, this is just speculation. So yeah, don't take it too seriously. And I'm going to explain why maybe it should be a tiny, tiny, tiny grain of salt right now. So I started doing a bit of digging. I started googling Pierre to see what sort of seminars he'd done before when it comes to Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft, and I didn't find too much, but what I did find is kind of damning that it might not be AC Red. I found an old tweet from 2017 from Google Cloud UK and Ireland in collaboration with Ubisoft, and they said this. I've always thought of hieroglyphics as magic. Pierre Mizg. Find out how Google Cloud have been working with Ubisoft UK and Da, 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 to create the hieroglyphics initiative and they also attached a picture to this being pierre on stage now this could be just a different seminar that pierre's done yeah for sure however if we line it up next to the profile picture of pierre on linkedin which has the ac red potentially branding there's one striking similarity and that similarity is the outfits pierre's wearing now, sure, this could be Pierre's go-to outfit when he goes up on stage. He knows what looks good on him. He got this all in the Gucci store, and by God, he's not going to buy another suit. So yeah, it could be two completely different shows. But there's definitely a big chance that the Assassin's Creed branding in Image 1 is actually branding for Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, if we look into this Google Assassin's Creed Hieroglyphics Initiative, it was basically glorified promo for Assassin's Creed Origins at the time. And that's basically what he was up on stage talking about so yeah is image one from that day probably yeah let's be honest probably pierre's got a good job he can probably afford two maybe even three suits so yeah it's probably the 2017 conference and not an assassin's creed red leak however I've been known to wear the same outfit for like seven days in a row. So the odds that Pierre has worn the same outfit twice on stage between what, seven years, eight years? Yeah, that's likely. So again, it maybe it is real, but I'll leave that one up to you. We're never really going to know unless Ubisoft Forward comes out and we find out that this image actually is a screenshot from the live show. Or it's not live, it's pre-recorded, isn't it? But you know what I'm saying. And then we see, oh, he is wearing the same outfit and it is AC Red. So yeah, only time will tell. That's as much speculation as we can do right now. Or at least that's as much as I can do right now. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments. Keep the conversation going. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think this is AC Red? Do you not? Let me know in the comments. We'll get a discussion going and build that AC community. If you did enjoy this video, guys, you can press the subscribe button to stay in the loop with everything Assassin's Creed Red and beyond. And again, you can press the like button if you did enjoy this video. It gets my video out there in the algorithm and just makes these videos possible. My Instagram and Twitter are linked in the description. I love you guys, mate. The father of understanding guide us. I will see you soon. Goodbye.